thank you for being here. I've got to start this. The, this look, right? Yeah, man. All people are telling me is the internet's going crazy. Really? For Sterling, Cowns, Sterling K. Brown's look, the, the longer hair, the beard. But now, match with the suit, the yeah. sneakers. I mean, how long are we going to go? How big are we going to go with the hair? How, how the, far are we going to get? Take it? The, the plan is to have the wife cornrow it on Instagram. I'm trying to get my followers up. <gasps> okay. Get her followers up. The last time I had a cornrow was in grad school. Right. So it's been the first. This will be the first time in like 15 years. I'm looking forward to it. So how long will you have to go? No, I can do it now. Yeah, this can. is padded down. Okay. Yeah, my <laughs> is it's fluffy. Okay. It's fluffy. Oh, I like I'm excited it. for you. this. I like I'm excited it. for this. As my, and thank you for the compliment on the salmon. I love it. I like the salmon. <laughs> That's how you I guys say it, it right? Yeah. Salmon. 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 I don't say salmon. It, it, <laughs> salmon. 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 It's an, salmon. It's an unnecessary L. That's yes. what I said, right? Salmon. Salmon. Mm -hmm. salmon. <laughs> salmon. 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 OK. Now, Regina. I can't hear it. I can't. I'm so happy you're here. You know how much I'm a huge fan of yours. You had a very busy summer. You went to Europe, the Dominican yes. Republic. Mm. You moved house this summer. Yes. What's been the highlight of this whole time? I, uh, they're all good, but I liked going to Cannes. Oh, yeah. man, was fun. They were partying on the streets. Yeah. And I just, I did get COVID. But outside of that, <laughs> I had the most enjoyable time. Cool. What, what sort of stuff? What were you getting up to? I was, did I say partying and drinking? You were just drinking the whole I time. I was drinking That's and partying. Well, I ate. Mm -hmm. I right. ate. Yeah. And I saw people yeah. who I didn't know. People come up to you and kiss you in can. You make sweet love? Did you make sweet love in camp? Okay, no, that wasn't going to be my I question. I didn't but, do that. Well, not on COVID. You should. That's Is that what people in salmon do? <laughs> <laughs> people who say salmon make love in camp. To no, my wife. To my I just wife. no, yes. I just went and and partied and I worked. Yeah. So were you, were you at the film festival? No, <laughs> you no, know, no. I was at um, but something like related. Mip. No, you know what it's called. Yes. It's the no. thing for the buy for the you people. You know the thing. The buyers. With the people. So not the film festivals. Can the other one? Right. <laughs> what you know what I'm talking about? So I don't know what you're talking you about, don't. but I do realize There's now the... how drunk you were <laughs> when you were there. <laughs> the the thing fact with that the you people. cannot even recall the very <laughs> event you were at, I think, tells us everything it, we need to know about your trip. It's the, so there's Can the film festival, mm. and it wasn't and that. The other one. And yeah. I was at the other one. With the people. Mm. With yes. the people. With the, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> People. Yeah, it was the release of the new <laughs> Toyota Tundra. That's what it was. I mean, this summer, Sterling, you you become a, a soccer dad. Now, uh, are you does it, are you coaching, or do you just yell from the sidelines? I side just lines? yell from the sidelines. Okay. I lose my voice a lot, and then mm. every once in a while, my son will look at me from the pitch and be like, dog, you need to stop talking. Mm. Like, this is too much for me. You're embarrassing me in front of uh. people. So I, I'm learning how to bring it down mm. and not lose my voice when I show up to work the next day. That's yeah, it. it is hard, though. It is. It is hard when you you're You get honest. into it, bro. You, Big time. Your kids play? Well, my son used to play, and then he stopped. Yeah. But I once almost got sent off by a ref. Did you? What'd you yeah. do? Well, <clears throat> I, I'm not going to go into it too much, but it wasn't a corner. <laughs> Now, you two, you look like you are great friends, that like you loved working together. I love pretty. Yeah. I, I, my sweet, pretty, pretty girl. Sterling, you had, well, you did. You admitted to having a, an acting crush. I do. On Regina. Regina, is there anyone that you have an acting crush on? An actor who you just right. think is so brilliant? Right. Well, outside of Sterling, mm -hmm. Sterling is one of them. You know, I have an acting, I have an acting crush on, on Andrew Garfield. Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I get that. Yeah, he's, great. Yeah. he's acting crushable. He's yeah, great. he's really yeah. good. Have you, Have you met him? I, oh, I yeah. You know, I did. I did. I met him at the Independent Spirit Awards, and I was so excited. I was like, oh, look, it's Andrew Garfield. So I, I went over. I said, do you think I can go say hi? So I saw his publicist. And I went and said, hi, I'm Regina. And he started talking. And he sounds like you. And I was shocked. I didn't know he, I thought he was American. Oh, really? Did you know? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. Did you know? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was mortified because I said, I, I was like, oh, are you? And then he said, are you finding out I'm, I'm I think, British, whatever, in real time? Mm. And I said, yes. I was mort, and I didn't know what to say. <laughs> it was awkward from that point on. <laughs> 
did tell him I was a big fan. But then you don't sound like a big fan when you don't even know the man's native home. Yes, right. you're right. 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 You're absolutely right. right. So it's, I, it's, impossible it's impossible after finding out you don't know that they're British yes. to then go on to say I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. Well, let me tell you something I'm a big fan of, which is your movie, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. You are both absolutely brilliant in the film. Thank you. Scully, explain to us what the film's about and who you play. Let's see. I play Pastor Lee Curtis Childs and my first lady and wife, Trinity Childs. Mm. We are the pastor and first lady of Wonder to Great the Past Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the film, there's a scandal that causes them to lose their whole congregation. They decide to hire a documentary film crew. They don't. He decides to <laughs> hire a documentary <laughs> film crew to sort of chart their ascendance back to prominence, or so he thinks. And, I mean, you, when the producers were, were casting for the film, yeah. Regina, they said that they were looking for a Regina Hall type. Yes. I get that. To play the part. What does this mean? What do you think that is? What is a, a Regina Hall what? type? Yeah. Uh, buxom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very flattered by that compliment, <laughs> but I probably, the movie has such a, a, a fine line between drama and comedy, mm -hmm. yeah. so probably someone who can navigate them both. I mean, so we see a lot of you in the movie. We, yeah. see, a, we see a lot of you, mm -hmm. and your, your body is, can I be honest, it's, it's annoyingly fantastic and perfect. <laughs> were, you, were you born with those abs? Okay, first of all, the first time you ever mentioned my body, when? Was on, you saw me on OJ and you said, like, Darden's got, like, you know, hot dad bod. Mm. And I was like, I gotta do better. I gotta do better. So James, so that oh, James you sees did this. me, right? Yeah. So this, is, this you was did all this. about you. And I was like, I gotta cut it up. <laughs> I wasn't born with abs. I had an aunt who loved to see kids do, like, fun things. So she had the sit up board. It's like a diagonal board, you hook your feet into the bottom of it. She said, if anybody can do 100 sit ups, I give you $10. Oh. Brown did 200 sit-ups in a row, <gasps> and then I got $20, and then the rest of the day, my stomach just went go, oh, I was like stuck, <laughs> curled <laughs> over, just contracting by itself. So it's just something that I've been into for a while. I'd sit and watch MTV videos, and I'm like, if I can do sit-ups the whole time this song is playing, then I'll be all right. Different challenges like that. So it's actual physical exercise. It, right. it took work. It took actual work. Yeah, can yeah. I okay. just say something? Mm. Mm. This is explaining something. Cool. This is explaining something. My actual breast popped out during a scene and no one noticed it. Lord and I'm thinking that it's because they were looking at him. <laughs> the directors didn't notice it. Sterling didn't notice it. I'm trying it. to be professional. I'm no. looking in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Straight ahead. Well, it worked. Thank you. And no crew, the, the first AD, no one noticed it. The DP finally probably caught a reflection on his abs. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, someone's got to put that down. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip from Hong for Jesus, <laughs> Save Your Soul, which opens in theaters and is available on Peacock on September 2nd.